Welcome back. The new app, People, is set to launch next month, but after one of the creators described it as Yelp for people, they got tons of backlash. Reporter Betty Yu explains. We want you to get those rock star comments by all the people that love you. San Francisco-based co-founder Julia Cordray and her best friend Nicole McCullough created the app because they wanted a way to research strangers. You're going to be able to really find out who somebody is before you invite them into your life. Set to release next month, the app allows people to create a profile for themselves or anyone else you have a cell phone number for. Anyone can post a rating or comment to that profile positive or negative, though bad reviews aren't immediately posted. Anonymous reviews aren't allowed. Freedom of speech is cool, um, but at the same time, I feel like you should respect people's, you know, space. And I feel like this is kind of a little intrusive. This week, critics slammed the app online for encouraging cyberbullying. All the negative attention even caused the app's website to crash yesterday. I think the people who are most motivated to write a rating about you is someone who doesn't like you, and that can be trouble. CNET senior editor Bridget Carey says that can mean defamation or libel. You can't exactly say anything you want on the app, people. Profanity, racism, and sexism are banned on the app, and users can dispute low-star ratings. Everyone judges on a daily basis, so um, you have to. I think it's just, it's human nature. So maybe this is the next step. Julia insists People is a positivity app. Constant complainers will see their own star ratings drop. Kind of encourage you to be a positive person. You're pointing out, like, good attributes of other people. Okay, so that was the story. That's kind of the background to this thing. But after the app garnered so much hate from around the world, its creators say they're making some changes. In fact, now they're billing it as a positivity app, kind of rethinking this whole concept. And joining us here to break it all down is social media expert Jen Cannon. And Jen, I know when you saw that this, this app popped up, you thought, oh, no, we, we should not be going here. Oh, no, I was ready to light my hair on fire like most <laughs> of the rest of the Internet because... You have to wonder, and the first thing so many people did was run right to Snopes because surely this yeah. must be some sort of joke sure. or a hoax or now there's still a lot of speculation as to whether or not it might be a PR stunt. Okay, but let's talk about the latest on this because we saw the background of the app, what it was intended to be, but just this past week, one of the creators got on LinkedIn and posted that they're completely rethinking this app. In fact, they are launching it as a positivity app, the <laughs> complete opposite of maybe what was originally intended for. It's so confusing and controversial and contradictory at yeah. this point, Cordray's uh, statements herself. It's really hard to know what they're doing. She is saying that it's going to be this huge positivity movement and that on Monday you'll be able to join uh, the positive revolution with them okay. and beta test this. The thing that's so curious to me is that these two women are virtually unknown in the tech startup world. Yeah. And for someone that created an app such as this, there's irony in the fact that she made a post on her Facebook page asking people if they could tell her how to disable comments on Facebook. Okay. There's, ir there's so much irony here yeah. and people are talking about it. So anyway, this new app or this new concept for the app that launches next month, they're saying, would be 100% opt-in. Users would need to approve reviews. So really, I mean, she's saying that this is, this is really an about face. Yes, okay. if it's true, if it even happens. Yeah. But people technically and typically, if you read uh, Yelp reviews online, if you've ever read them, the typical person that responds or posts things there are either very happy and satisfied yeah. or very unhappy and typically angry. Mm -hmm. And I believe that an app like users and we don't need an app we have this thing it's called the internet the world wide web where people feel free to hurl insults and ugliness at each other sure. all day long so. and i love your line about context oh and that's the other thing any i try to get people to think about this and consider this Everything we read online, everything we see online is 100% out of context mm -hmm. unless we are the ones that posted it. Yeah. So I say where there is no context, there can be no truth. All right, there you have it. That's why Yelp for people, probably not a good idea. No, just Cannon. say no thank you to the people. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having All me. All right. <laughs> We're going to send it over to Kyla. Kyla, this is crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Plus, they're spelling people, P-E.